Today I have some new modules and products for you guys. So welcome to another mailbag video. The place where I share with you what I receive for my future projects, the modules, the machines, the parts and products and so on. I am always working on some new projects, but now that I have a newborn daughter, I have less time. But don't worry, we had a project last week and we'll have another one soon. So let's see what interesting parts I have to show you for today. So let's get started. Hey guys, PCB Way is sponsoring this video and let me just tell about their services. For example, look how awesome their prototyping PCBs are. And you can get this for only $5. They are so professional and they will make your project work a lot better. And to order such PCBs, you only need a few minutes on their website, where you can select any configuration that you want for your boards. Along with that, you can also order the SMD stencil for soldering the components using solder paste. And you can also use their services for flexible PCBs and create some unique projects. And if you want to make your project start to finish, you can get the PCBs assembled together with the mold injected part or maybe 3D printed metal parts or other CNC services, all with PCB Way. What's up my friends, welcome back. I have a lot of modules and parts that I want to show you, so let's get right in and briefly talk about each. First I found these NRF24 based modules. And this acts as a USB port and sends the data via radio signals. And on the other hand, I also got this, which is kind of the same, but instead of a USB output, it has a TTL output. So why did I buy this? Well, because I wanted to test if I can program the Arduino wirelessly. But I wanted a USB to USB connection, not a USB to TTL one. Basically, I want to connect this to my PC and the other radio module to my Arduino USB input like this. But this doesn't work. But using the TTR receiver, it works. All you have to do is to connect the RX to TX, the TX to RX, and just before the upload starts, you have to push and release the reset button. Because you see, the FTDI programmer has the DTR pin to do that, and reset automatically. But these modules don't have a DTR pin, so we have to reset the Arduino manually. So I will try to make my own wireless Arduino programmer, so I don't have to use a USB cable all the time. Ok, so next I have this baby book. It's nothing special, but since now I'm a dad, I received this kind of product from a follower promoting their product. It's basically just a baby book, but instead of sounds and animals, it has logic gates, so they can start testing how they work. So you push the button, and it will do what the logic gate will do, for an AND, an OR, and so on. Pretty nice, right? The next thing I want to show you is this camera from Mintion that is called the laser cam. This is made to work with any CNC laser engraver and create a time lapse for your prints and also add more security to your engraver. You basically get this camera module and a flexible arm. You have to connect the camera over the engraver and adjust the position. With the camera connected to the engraver, install and open the free laser camera app. So you can now see the engraving process, you have a live view of the print and even pause or stop the print from the app. And best of all, you can create time lapses of the engravings. As an extra, it also comes with a flame sensor. You add this sensor next to the laser module using sticky tape. Then you power the sensor with the USB cable and it will connect to the camera using Bluetooth. Then it will protect you from fire hazards and so on, just in case that you are not near the engraver. So you can control your print from the app. You can send the G-code wirelessly from the web page as well, and also get the time lapses, the live video and other controls. So this is a quite cool product to improve your CNC. So the next thing I want to show you is this. This is some sort of an EEPROM, not an EEPROM because EEPROMs are using electricity to erase the data, but an EEPROM is using UV light. So you basically program the chip, and if you want to erase it, you need to place it under UV light. 
That's why this chip is exposed, so the UV light could reach the memory. This was very common with the first memories. So why did I buy this? Well, I bought it together with these other chips and even a microchip wafer like this one. I want to make a full video where I explain the entire process of how microchips are made from silicon to wafer to exposing the mask of the nanometric transistors up to cutting and packaging the final chip. So stay tuned for such a video, it should be very informative. And also speaking about UV lights, I also bought this UV light of 200 watts. I want to use this to cure my 3D printed resin parts. So it's quite useful to have one around, so if you want something like this, I will place the links below in the description. Then I also bought this TFT display, but as you can see it's just the display without any PCB, just the flat connector. So why is that? Well remember that I was working on an Arduino based DLP printer. The screen that I've used there is very small and I wanted a bigger one. So I was making some tests with some other bigger screens, and I think I can make it work with this one, that is based on the ILI 9486 chip. And I bought it without the PCB, so I could figure out what each pin is, so I could make my own PCB for the Arduino DLP printer. And like this is also easier to make it transparent, by removing the back panel, as I did for my previous DLP experiment. So stay tuned for a better and ready Arduino based DLP printer. Now for the next part that I've received, you have to remember my portable soldering iron with batteries and without any cable. The problem that I had with that project was the iron tip. It had enough power, but it doesn't have a thermocouple inside it, so we can measure the real temperature. But if you open an iron tip such as this one, the T12 for example, it has the heating element and in series it has a thermocouple, so it will generate a voltage drop when it gets hot as you can see here. And using that voltage we can calculate the temperature. But now these tips that I bought are also open. Basically you can remove the tip and access the heating wire. And this wire is just nichrome wire and it could withstand very high temperatures. So what I want to test for my next version of the portable iron is to cut this heating wire, add in series a thermocouple such as this one, I fit it inside of the iron tip and close it back. Like that I would have a 30 watts iron tip with internal thermocouple. So stay tuned for that project as well. Next I wanted to show you everything that I bought till now for a future project of a 5 axis CNC machine based on Arduino. It's been a while that I wanted to make my own CNC machine, but now I've decided to make a 5 axis one and be able to mill very unique parts. I want to make it very low cost, so I've got the RAMS 1.6 board. I also have 5 stepper motors, some belts, pulleys, stepper drivers, lead screws and so on. The rest will be 3D printed and maybe some metal or acrylic parts. I might even make my own PCB as I did for the CNC shield for the vinyl cutter from a previous video. So guys stay tuned for a cool 5 axis CNC machine soon on my channel. Finally I want to show some small modules, connectors, basic parts any electronic workshop should have. So this is what I received lately from Aliexpress. I bought some ISP programmers, because I always need one when you work with microcontrollers, and the old one that I had burned out. I also bought a few different Bluetooth audio receivers, because I'm always making some sort of Bluetooth speakers or other types of music related projects, so just for a few dollars, it's good to have some of these around your workshop. Together with the audio receivers, I also bought some amplifiers. These are quite powerful, they sound great and they cost just a few dollars. So it's good to have some around. I also needed some female USB connectors for type C and B, so I've also ordered a few of those. Now this here is a powerful 120 watts battery charger that I want to test out in one of my future battery related projects, so stay tuned for that. I also have these frequency generators, that I might make a video about them but I'm not sure yet, because this is a quite old chip, but anyway stay tuned for that as well. And for my previous scan protocol video I've ordered this module here, that can create an SPI, I2C, TTL and CAN protocols, and it's good to have one around 
and make some tests with it. I might make a new video about serial communications. Oh, and I also have some new microcontrollers. I have the new Pico with Wi-Fi, also a TNC microcontroller, which is very very powerful, a lot more than the normal Arduino for example. Then I have this Siduino, which is very very tiny. I also got one of these new Arduino Nano Every, which has some new and different specs, so let me know if you want to make a video about it. Then I've got another Blue Pill or STM32, an Arduino Pro Micro, and some more ESP32, because I use it a lot lately. Actually I want to start using more ESP32 than the Arduino, so we will see. And by the way, I'm also preparing a new display videos, where I want to show you all the new displays that you can get from AliExpress. Because in a previous video I've shown you just a few, but now I have even more. We have TFTs, round displays with parallel or SPA connection, big ones, small ones, touchscreens and so on. And I've also received a huge package from PCBWay, but I won't show you yet, it will be a surprise. So guys, that was it for this mailbag video. I hope that you now have an idea of what's coming on this channel. If you like my videos, comment below or give me a like. Thanks again and see you later guys. Hey guys, so as you all know, making these kind of videos is not that easy for me, it requires a lot of time, a lot of machinery and also oscilloscopes, power supplies and so on, and also a lot of modules. And thanks to your support on Patreon, is it a lot easier for me to buy those modules, so thank you very much to all my patrons and also to you guys for commenting below, for giving likes to my videos and also sharing my videos to help spread out this information. So thank you very much.